Tegel Airport is closing down on November 8th. Many people came here to celebrate, but also many of them were mourning. This is the last Bild with a flugzeug and the tower. We will not see it anymore. The crew of the last departing aircraft has already arrived on the apron. This is of course a very emotional moment. Tegel is a piece of aviation history in Europe. There is a bit of melancholy, but we are also happy to meet all the people here at BER again. And of course we are very happy about the wonderful weather today. It can't get any better than this. On January 2nd, 1960, an Air France plane opened the then new Tegel Airport. And again, it will be an Air France aircraft that is the last to take off and close down the airport. Originally, Tegel was planned for about 2.5 million passengers, but due to the construction delay of the BER, the airport recently had to cope with 8 times this number. The airport CEO has mixed feelings about this day. It is a wistful day. It is of course also a start for something new, both here at the airport and of course at BER where we have been well on our way for a week. It is of course also wistful because it has a long history. Tegel has done a lot for Berlin, especially during the time of the war. Tegel was of course the gateway to the world. In this respect it's a day with two feelings, joy but also melancholy. Flight Captain Christoph Rusch is the commanding pilot of the Airbus A320. He knows Tegel Airport pretty well. I came to Tegel uh, 20 years ago uh, when I was a first officer on the Airbus uh, 320. I remember that the most uh, challenging part here in Tegel was parking the aircraft using a very old docking system. And then a little surprise, the federal police bid farewell to Air France 1235 with a formation flight of three helicopters. 8 minutes past 3 p.m. Taxi clearance for the last plane departing from Tegel. From airport employees to flight attendants, hardly anyone wants to miss the spectacle. With the opening of the airport Berlin Brandenburg BER, Tegel loses its obligation to operate as an airport. However, the airport will be kept on standby for another six months in case something goes wrong at BER. Captain Rouge makes a lap of honor around the entire airport terminal. Hundreds of Berliners have gathered at the barriers who want to say goodbye despite the request to stay at home because of the coronavirus. Then the Airbus, guided by five marshal cars and under sirens, rolls into the water fountains of the airport fire department. With 137 guests on board, Air France Flight 1235 is taxiing to runway 08 left. Takeoff at 1539. With the takeoff of the last plane, the so called Otto Lilienthal Airport is now history.
The route leads east toward Berlin Pankow. Over Ahrensfelde, Captain Rouge turns off to the west again, passing Tempelhofer Feld. An unusual route for this unusual day. On the ground at Tegel there is already a hangover mood. No plane will ever take off from here again. Meanwhile on board the plane the 137 passengers are toasting to the end of their beloved and also hated airport. Among the guests is aviation journalist Andreas Spät, who has already gained experience with closing airports. But Tegel is still special to him. In fact, I have been through several airport closures. The last one I remember was Munich Riem in 1992, which was basically similar because the locals often feel attached to their urban airports and are very emotional. A woman working at the security check today almost cried. But I was very happy about Berlin too. Today there were historical buses which had been taken out of the depot and drove for the last time on this line. Yesterday all buses were also labeled with Thank you TXL or November 8. Bus drivers posed and waved. Often Berlin bus drivers are a little bit rough. That's what they are known for. So I was quite surprised how the Berlin soul became so sentimental, friendly and devoted when it came to celebrating Tegel. Less than one hour and 20 minutes later, Air France flight 1235 is already descending to Charles de Gaulle Airport, runway 08 right. There is no aviation regulation that forces cockpit crews to wear protective masks. But for this flight, the crew decided to wear them anyway. Heading 120, check. Despite the very special flight, the flight deck crew sticks to the routines. With about 40 minutes delay, flight 1235 will land in Paris. But today the delay is not much of importance. Minimum continue. Two hundred. One 
100. 50, 40, 30, 20. Retard, retard, drive. Spoilers. Reverse green. Diesel. I know checked. Yeah, very nice moments. Once, once in a lifetime. Yeah, it was a special one. Yeah, for all of us, I believe, and for all the people in uh, Tegel as well. Uh, all the people, all, all those years in Tegel did uh, such a great job, that was, that was very nice. And now I think let's look ahead and, and give Berlin Brandenburg a chance. All right. And so it's an end of a journey for the passengers, but the end of an era for Berlin Tegel. Thank you, TXL.